Hi, and welcome to the film review of the movie Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is an American action spy film directed by Christopher McQuarrie from a story by McQuarrie and Drew Pearce and the fifth installment in the Mission Impossible film series. In this film, IMF agent Ethan Hunt is on the run from the CIA following the IMF dissolution as he tries to prove the existence of the syndicates a mysterious international theorist consortium. So let's get into it. So the first aspect that we are going to discuss is the editing techniques. There are many editing techniques in this film. Let's take a few scenes as an example. The first one is the speedy cut of moving scene. In the fighting scene, it had been cut into many pieces and there is no consistent angle for the camera to shoot the scene. The speedy cut of the moving scene is used to deliver the feelings of tension to the viewers. The second one is the 180 degree rule. 180 degree rule is used on the IMF hearing scene. The scene starts with the camera focused on Alan Hooley conversation with IMF. Then it turns to focus on the IMF staff within a 180 degree frame. The third one is the 30 degree rule. In motorcycle chasing scene, 30 degree rule is used which the camera is stationed at an angle of at least 30 degree from its location in the previous shoot. The fourth one is the mesh on action. Mesh on action is used in a scene where Ethan Hunt discovered Beijing Dun had been caught as hostage with a bone on him. First, the camera focused on Ethan who sent something weird on Benji. Then it focused on Benji's earphone and then his eyes, which had a camera contact lens on it. After that, the camera returned to Ethan, who later found the bone, which is under Benji's coat. The final one is the short reverse shot. Short reverse shot is used in the scene where Ethan Hunt traps Solomon Lane in a glass cage. The cut switches between complementary spaces which the camera stationed in almost facing position. Solomon was staring at Ethan angrily while knocking the glass cage. So that's all for the editing techniques. So the next aspect that we are going to discuss is the sound. First, we're going to discuss about diegetic sound. Diegetic sounds is defined as the actual sound that produced from the shooting scene. For example, the sound when Ethan breaks the glass door with his body. The second is the non diegetic sound. non diegetic sound is not the actual sound produced from the shooting scene. For example, non diegetic sounds was used to show that they are professional and serious in their mission. It gives a feeling of immersive tension and seriousness to the viewers while they are conducting their mission. So that's about it. Thank you for watching and see you again.